Hey everyone, I'm Dave, aka Tenacious D, co-captain of the Loaded Crow Scenario Paintball Team and technical consultant for Scenario Paintball Films. We're here today talking to you about RAV4's latest generation of the T68. Because anytime you have most failures or most leaks that you're going to get in a paintball gun uh, are the result of a worn O-ring. Let's take the, the bolt out, we'll take the hammer out, we'll take a look at all the O-rings inside, take a look at any potential points of failure. The ASA is held in by three set screws one on each, si uh, on each side of the gun on the top and one on the bottom. Okay. Okay, put the last set screw there. <clears throat> and then the ASA will just slide off the back of the gun. Okay. At this point you can see the, the air inlet, which takes the air from the ASA, back into the internally plumb lines within the gun. One important thing to, to, to note here, we talk about the, the lack of external air lines, right? There's no macro line, there's no air line going to the front but in front of the valve. That's because the T68 has internal plumbing for the air. Right here is the air port that goes from the ASA into the internally milled lines within the T68. Again, two O-rings there, just put some oil on it or any kind of uh, lube, whatever your preference is. Uh, you can use just standard, you know, hops oil. Uh, I have some just varied assortment of different lubes, and they all work well. Okay, now to get to the internals. Again, like with most, most stack tube blowbacks, they have obviously two tubes in a stacked configuration. The bolt being in the top, with the hammer, valve, drive spring, all located in the lower tube. When you unscrew the bottom, uh, bottom back cap, you'll notice a plastic guide pin, the drive spring, and the hammer and the bolt. At this point, the gun is completely stripped down. If you're cleaning at the end of the day, you can take your swab, run it straight through, and actually I'll do that now. And so that's it. Without taking, you know, without taking it completely apart and taking the valve out, uh, it's a standard poppet valve, like all stack tube guns. It's important to keep all these O-rings lubed because anytime you have most failures or most leaks that you're going to get in a paintball gun, uh, are the result of a worn O-ring. Issue number one: We've heard, and granted, we've used this uh, this gun for a couple games, and we haven't had any of these issues, but they do occur. Uh, the first is the gun not recocking. This is most likely due to the o-ring right there on the hammer. In the event that you need to replace an o-ring either on the the bolt or or on one of the back caps or the hammer, most likely on the hammer, um, you do receive extra o-rings along with the allen keys. So everything you need to, to maintain the gun, even rebuild it, comes with the with the gun. Okay, the way a stack tube blowback works, the hammer slides forward, strikes the, the valve pin, releases the air, and part of that air escapes backwards and pushes the hammer towards the back of the gun. That is made possible by that O-ring. That O-ring is what maintains that airtight seal in the lower tube and allows the gun to recock. If that doesn't happen and you're having to pull the charging handle each time, this O-ring is most likely the culprit. Uh, I've seen instances where you'll chop a, uh, chop a paintball in the breech and you know it won't recock. That, another cause could be shell fragment is wedged in the breech between the, the bolt and the actual breech of the gun. You know, that's something you just kind of muscle it and just recock it and clear that uh, fragment out. But most recocking issues are caused by that O-ring. Just replace it with one of the O-rings that comes with the gun, throw some oil on it, and that should solve the problem. Another potential issue, uh, you air the gun up and you hear a slight hissing coming down the barrel. Again, could be one most obvious cause is that the gun is not cocked and the hammer is resting on the valve pin, just kind of opening up the valve just enough for a little bit of air to hiss out. Um, or it could be a cup seal has gone bad. And just let me show you real quick how easy it is to take care of the cup seal. And the cup seal, by the way, comes with the gun, just a spare, just in case you need it. You want to remove the, the front cap here. There's a, there's a screw that holds it in place just forward of the trigger guard.
this slides out. Look down, you see a spring. And it's kind of tough to see, and I don't want to take any tools and jimmy it out. But there is the valve pin down there, and the cup seal just pulls out. You just unscrew the existing cup seal. You screw this white one back on, and that should solve your problems.